Hey guys, it's Shoshi from Shoshi's Minis and welcome. So glad to see you guys. I see Ludo's Paint Bad and Nixon Minis in chat. Thank you guys so much. Um, I'm trying to glue currently the arm ah, of the model we're gonna be painting today. Hopefully I can get it to stay. I don't know what happened to my Insta set. So that is, that is why I'm sitting there holding this. But that's okay. Anyway, I'm so glad to see you guys. Welcome. Oh, wow. And Laminus, thank you so much for the 13 months. That's amazing. Thank you. Wow. Subscribing for 13 months. Let's get some hype. Um, hold on. I gotta, this is not going to go together. <laughs> Let's do some hype for Laminus. Oops. Hi, hi, hi. There we go. Awesome. Cajun Mage just subscribed as well. Let's get some more hype. Oh my gosh, this is mad love for, for the stream right now. Cajun Mage for eight months. Guys, thank you so much. Um, so yeah, this is not going together. I need, aw, Steve Ammon Texas, 16 months in a row. Wow, what a great way to start a stream. Thank you so much, hello, Lake Crasher. Yay, great times. Thanks, Shoshi. Thank you. Thank you, guys. Aw, next and Minis. 20 months. That's insane. That's so crazy. 20 months? Isn't that like almost as long as I've been streaming almost? I don't know. It feels like a long time. Well, you will never know. Aw, what a great way to start a stream. Don't make me cry. <laughs> Okay, let's see if I can get some of this uh, Insta set so you won't get to see me here. I found it. Ha ha. All right. It was it was put up for safe keepings. <laughs> Thank you guys. Like seriously, um, mad love to you. And uh, it really me it really does mean a lot. I know like 
you know, there's a, there's so many streamers out there, and you can only you can only subscribe to so many, right? You know, but the fact that you guys stick it out and keep subscribing to me, I'm I'm blessed. I'm blessed. <laughs> I really mean it. All right. So here's here's the hands I've got. I put a little piece of. I probably have to pick, gonna pick that off because that's not working for me at all. I put a little piece of paper towel in between the um, two models, two pieces of model rather. So I think I should have scratched this up a little bit more because it doesn't like to stick to stuff that doesn't have a surface that it can grab onto. Three Zero Studio, 17 months well spent. Oh my gosh, thank you guys. It's amazing. Thank you, thank you, thank you. This is awesome. <laughs> You know, it's funny because, like, I know, like, Flick streams on Mondays, and so a lot of people go over and see him. And then I started up today, and I was like, nobody's here. It's crickets. And then a couple people started saying hello, and I was like, okay, phew. As long as one person says hello in chat, I feel like, okay, it's good. I can, I can, I can rest. <laughs> yeah, thank you. Three months, three, 17 months well spent. Yes, hype. Thank you, Cajun Mage, for giving that hype out. Appreciate that. Speaking of uh, Three Zero Studio, I think I might have another slot. Let me see if I can make Three Zero a VIP. Because I think they are. 17 months. Moderation roles, channel roles. Let's see, I've got, yeah, I think, how many VIPs do I get? One, two, three, four, five. I currently have five. Let's see if I can add another VIP. Three, zero, studio. There she is. Okay. There you go. Oh, I have, oh my gosh, I can have like 80 VIPs. Holy cow. That's awesome. Geeky Girl Games, thank you for the subscription. Oh my gosh, thank you, thank you, thank you. Let me go back to my to my dashboard so I can see what you guys are saying. So exciting. Okay, so if you guys watch my social media at all, woo, Drunkin, hello. How are you? Okay, now it's sticking. See, I scratched that up a little bit and it's sticking really well now. And then the last thing I need is to put the top on this. How are you, Runkin? It's been a little bit. Um, and then we're gonna put some bondic in the crack because this is actually one of the pieces I need to use to paint today. So if you've been following me on social media and not just Twitch, you will know that I'm painting Lord Virulence. Here he is, unpainted. And I'm gonna demonstrate on this one how I've done some of the techniques. Now, keep in mind, this guy is not for the weak stomach. He's gross, he's Nurgle. And you guys know me, I have a realistic painting style. I don't paint in a cartoony painting style very much. So here he is, he's super gross. Look at that, we're gonna learn how to paint this today. Look at the boils, ew, so gross. <laughs> Yes, Instaset is a lifesaver. So if you are grossed out easily, I'm so sorry. We're gonna paint this for Creature Caster. Um, you can, I decided that I'm gonna be doing this Gundam building on my off streaming days this week. So that, that way, if you still wanna watch me, you don't wanna watch Lord Virulence, totally understand. You can watch me build Gundam tomorrow. I'm still not sure the exact time, Jan is streaming at 1 p.m. my time, so I will probably be streaming 11, 12, 1, wait. Yeah, I'll probably start streaming at 11 my time, so two hours before Jan, and yeah, that'll work out pretty well. We're gonna bond it this. Funny that oxic paste made you queasy. Is it just because of the sounds it was making? Because it was making grody sounds. Yeah, it is grody. It is gross. <laughs> it's so funny because <laughs> I showed it to some friends of mine on Discord. 
to like Rubbish Booty and Sneaky Tiny Smalls. And it was the, the noises they were making was hilarious. Ah, okay. That doesn't wanna stay on there. So I'm just filling in this gap right here. The more texture, more the texture, okay. Yeah, someone said that I should use some of that on the back of this guy, but I was like, mmm, it might be too much. There, there's gross and then there's like beyond gross. I did have one person unfollow me on Facebook because of Lord Virulence. I think that's how I say it, Virulence. I was kind of shocked, but not too shocked actually, because I was expecting at least one or two people to do it. So right now I'm, I'm filling in gaps and I'm making sure that this, and it's okay if there's like lumps and bumps as long as they look like, like extra little boils. I just want to make sure to fill this all in. Thankfully, Bond, it, it paints right over it. It's really good. All right, that's perfect. Okay, that's done. Um, I'm just gonna put that on a little dowel rod so you can watch me paint that easily without getting it all over my fingers. Dowel rods. <laughs> if you don't like it, just don't look. Yeah, yeah, I know. But you know, it could also be because it's like, who knows why people unfollow, you know? I don't even pay attention to them anymore because I have, I have people do it all the time, so you just never know what happens. Okay, so I'm gonna scratch this. It'll stick really nice. This is actually the arm that I'm gonna use for my current Lord, Lord Virulence. The other one, I'm gonna let you guys help me pick what arms you wanna use. I'm trying to, not to get Bondic all over myself. All right, so there's that, and then the Insta-Set. Hi, Amberton, how's it going? Does the large Bondic lightsaber light work to cure the, yeah, it does. Yeah, any any UV light will cure Bondic. It doesn't matter what kind of Bondic it is. Okay, there we go. Make sure to get all this set. Ah! There, that's enough. <laughs> they don't want to follow, you get to win the things. That's true. <laughs> That's funny. Hi, Maharoon. All right, there we've got it. I'm gonna let that set up just a little bit more. Now, I want to show you how I prime stuff. So I primed with black. This is the, um, huh, I just noticed. Oh, okay, that goes like where his belly is. So. I primed it black and then I oversprayed a little bit of Steinle Res Yellow Primer and it's a nice pastel yellow, right, you know, over, in, instead of Zenithal White priming it, I used yellow. Okay, so that, that goes right up against his belly, perfect. See how I did that? And here's his, so this, let me show you the guy that I'm, I'm working on right now. Hello, Cajun Mage. So here he is. Here's his wing, wait, wrong, there we go. Wings right there. Maroon, thank you for subscribing. Praise me unto the amazing teacher. Aw, thank you so much. All right, there's, look at the gross little nasties. Trust me, I um, did some really gnarly research to get some of these things. I've done it, so now you don't have to, so I can show you. And then let's see, here's the other wing that I'm working on. So that one's just primed, that one's not painted. So you can see how much work has gone into there. That one's, that side's not painted as much. It's so much easier to paint something this large when you've got somebody to talk to or a movie to watch or something to get your mind off of all of the time that you're spending on one area. Because um, I don't know about you, but I get bored. And if I've got something to keep my mind occupied, then it's not as bad. So where's the other arm that I've got? Here it is. I started the ax a little bit. So on my guy, I'm going to use this ax. And then this this arm is going to be his, his other arm. So 
Did we give some hype to, we got a hype to Maharoon. Oops, let's give some hype. I can move my mouse over here. Packers, hello. I did not watch the Super Bowl and that's because the Patriots were playing and I didn't, I already knew what was gonna happen and I don't like the Patriots at all. They're the only team that I will actively boo for. Not a Patriot fan. Sorry, Patriots fans, if you're watching. I'm <laughs> oh, I would root for the Rams, but I just don't want to watch the Patriots. <laughs> Thank you, Shoshi, and that stops me getting bored. Oh, good. Yes. Oh, good. Okay. So let's put this arm in here, and this is arm. So that's that's going to be my my final Lord Varela. So. So in order to show you all the different techniques that I did on this guy, I have another model here. Don't apologize. Okay, good. <laughs> Here's the base, and the base is also gross in itself. I'm gonna explain. It's got these big, like, widgety grub things here, and I actually looked up widgety grubs, which are an Australian grub. They're really big and gross. They're like, some of them are the, as big as people's hands. But the widgety grubs are attacking each other and little other grubs are coming out as much as, as well as like guts. So you can see here, I even made my own, like what is that called, that Nurgle Rot. I made my own Nurgle Rot and I used the video, isn't this gross? It's so gross. It's just bleh, bleh. <laughs> Tavison, thank you for subscribing. 12 months, it's a year. You don't like the Patriots either. I knew you liked for a reason. <laughs> Yay. Thank you. Hi for Tavison. Yay. Trying to eat here. If you're trying to eat, Maharoon, this may not be the stream for you. I'm serious. <laughs> I already warned everybody that uh, I'm going to be streaming my Gundam build um, the, rest of the, the rest of the week on my off stream days. And so if you're if you're really queasy and uh, grossed out, maybe, maybe you can watch me on my Gundam days. <laughs> Just filling a little gap right here that I noticed on the wing. There's another one on this side. I wanna get that as well. Probably, probably intended to fill that before and just forgot about it. <laughs> Definitely, uh, no, because Maroon and I were both, yeah, it's all good, just gross, it is gross. Yes. Um, Maroon was also, um, doing, uh, the, I think the Lord of Change or something, I can't remember the name of the model, but he was really gross too, and she also did a bunch of research and, um, is also a similarly realistic painter as, le as well. All right, there's the super glue. All right, um, let's see, where do I start? Let's start, what do you guys wanna see me paint? Because basically I thought rather than just paint a model from start to finish, I could show, you could tell me which, which parts of this model you wanna see demonstrated. The, oh, you're the glutton demon and the plague angel, yeah. So, I personally, I started with the intestines on this guy, and here's the thing that makes me mad. Look at this. What happens? All that beautiful work covered up. <laughs> but, I think we should, I should still show, you saw some pics of this on Rainer's channel? Awesome. Yes, he's very icky. Anyway, I can show you how to do this because you might have an, a nurgle of your own. And if you want to take some notes and stuff, then you can you can do this on any kind of Nurgle. As you can see, there's like a million colors going on back here. And I'm gonna teach you all my secrets. Teach you all the secrets. So you can make gross things gross too. <laughs> Alright, so let's let's talk. Let's talk model. Let's talk this one. This these are the two right right here. Oh. Before I do that, why don't I give you the priming demonstration? Let's see if this is dry enough to, to prime. 
All right, so I'm gonna brush prime. I, I originally airbrush primed the, uh, the original model, but I'm gonna brush prime this so that um, you can see that you can do it. You can do this without without airbrushing it. And I'm just gonna use this paint palette here for my stuff in here. When you gotta pick that dry paint out at the bottom. I love it when it comes off in one piece, you know? So you ever like sit <laughs> clean paint palettes? So it's so it's um what is it satisfying? It's satisfying to pick the paint and like you know, there's just like little things. It's very satisfying to pick. <laughs> The black blood you thought was great? Oh, I missed that. Oh, cool. All right, so I'm gonna pour in some Steinol Res Black Surface Primer. Self-leveling, enhancing coverage. Rainer, thank you so much for subscribing, lurking and sending love. 19 months, hype for Rainer, because my mods give some hype. Please, thank you so much, Maroon, you're awesome. Simple, easy cleanup. What does this say? Something uh, for use on plastics, metals, woods, resins, various other substrates. Dries hard to a flat finish. I like that. I like that it dries to a flat, especially when you're airbrushing. It's very, very flat. All right, so we're going to take the black. It's half damage. Wow, there's so many subscribing. That's so awesome. 10 months. Thank you so much. And more hype. Awesomeness. I'm just gonna layer in my priming here. I did not wash this model, unfortunately. I should have done that. Thankfully, because Steinol Res is awesome, it doesn't bead up that much. See how it covers right over that Bondic? Covers right up. And there's a cat hair. Of course there's a cat hair. <laughs> If I have to rip, if I have to pull out the hair dryer and uh, get this primer dry, we may do that. Okay, it's already drying nice. It does self level. I like that. And I'm just using a really, you know, craft smart uh, flat brush from Michaels that you know you can get a big bag of fifty for like nine dollars. Um, for stuff like this, you don't need a fancy brush. Da, 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 da. So did anybody do anything fun this weekend? I streamed this weekend. Some of you might have caught me. I streamed on Saturday and I, I built my Gundam. Did I build my Gundam some more? Yeah, I did. Built some Gundam. I joined a Gundam uh, Discord, Gunpla. Met a bunch of new people who'd never heard of me because they don't they don't get outside of their genre, which is cool because I think it's, there needs to be some crossover. We can learn a lot from Gunpla people, and they can learn from us as well. Ooh, my crickets! I forgot to put them in the fridge. You got black and white and gray badger primer, and then you realize that you could have just gotten black and white. That's true, Zab, but sometimes, you know, you don't have time to mix it, right? Or you're impatient, or sometimes you just want gray. And you want that whole army to be that one color of gray. So it's okay. It doesn't hurt having an extra, right? It's funny, though. I've done that, too. All right, almost covered. All right, that's how black I get it to look when I've got the black primer. I'm gonna rinse that. Hopefully, I'm gonna get my paper towel. You tore up the floors in Ikea, um, an assembled Ikea. <laughs> no more rent renos. Um, that's funny. Oh, you tore up the floors. Wow, that's a lot. Renovation, that's what reno stands for, okay. Man, yeah, I'm not a renovator person, um, but I admire people who do do. We have some, 
some projects coming up in our house as well. All right, that's drying. I'm gonna mute myself for one second and use the hair dryer to dry this. Give me a second, I'm gonna mute. Okay, little fun fact about priming, especially Badger Primer. I learned this from uh, Matt DiPietro. He said that if you use the hair dryer to cure the, it's best to leave primer um, 24 hours before painting on it. That's ideal, because it'll really cure. But if you hit it with the hair dryer and then let it cure for 24 hours, it will really be um, stuck on good. So that's just uh, something I learned from him. Um, we don't have time for that. I need to look and see. See, there's still a little seam. So I'm going to fill that with more uh, more Bondic. You put it off for 12 years, <laughs> you're not moving. You know, it's funny that you said that because we moved because we did not want to remodel. There were so many um, projects that needed to be done on the old house. And I just, I just told Mike, I was like, you know, I don't want to be fixing up a house that I don't ultimately really want to live in, because we didn't, we didn't want to live there. And so we moved, we still have some things, but the thing is, as I told Mike, with this house, this house is much, much newer. And I said, we are not letting it fall into disrepair. We're gonna be working, doing something to upgrade it every year. Amelie Howers Love, thank you so much for the follow. Welcome. Did I say your name right? Ma is it Amelie? Or um Whoa, Amber didn't reach work reach work uh, journeyman. You're almost a master painter. Holy cow. That's like, I think we'll do something for you, uh, Amber, and once you reach master painter, I think that's a big deal. I don't know if there's any ranks beyond that. Yeah, same with you, Lamunas. Everybody's checking their ranks now. <laughs> you don't feel like a master painter? <laughs> well, maybe I should redo the ma redo the ranks when when people start reaching master painter, so they have more more ranks to go for. You're gonna raid and dash. Oh, thank you. Winter, uh, Winter Wolf t uh, Studio, so let's give him a shout out. I missed him coming in with that raid, and I'm so sorry. Shout out. I really appreciate it, and he's such a nice streamer, such a good, um, good person. Winter Wolf, wait, Winter Tide Wolf. You got it covered? Okay, thank you. I've got so much stuff on my desk right now I'm trying to keep up with everything. It's really tricky. <laughs> That's cool. Look at you, Kazai, you're getting up there too. You're almost you're almost a journeyman. Alright, I'm just gonna paint that little bit of bondic over real quick. See now it doesn't doesn't look like a gap. It's fine. You're super busy. You're dead and need to sleep. All right. Well, thank you so much. And yes, feel free to come back and lurk or whatever you'd like. Mad love. <laughs> okay. I'm going to dry this real quick again. We will mute so you won't have to hear the hair dryer.
There we go. Okay. Now, thank goodness this is Nurgle skin because I do see a little bit of a ridge here. It doesn't bother me too much and we can actually hide it quite a bit with paint. All right, now I'm going to show you my trick with painting the yellow, the primer, because we're not zenithal priming, but we are going to try to put, I'm going to dry brush quite a bit. Hopefully this brush is not headed. Look at this brush. It's been a dry brush, you can tell. Synthetics brushes always do this. They always get really bent. There we go. All right. That's okay, because we're gonna we're gonna dry brush with it anyway. Super Sarah! <laughs> what to do, boo-boo? <laughs> 12 months, it's been a whole year. Thank you so much. Oh my gosh. Hey for Super Sarah. Thank you so much, Steve Amy Texas. Oh, and Lewis, your next rank should be old guy with a brush. <laughs> we could arrange that. We have a special rank for uh, <laughs> for for big the the real bug king. All right, so here's the yellow. Um, Steinle Res comes with lots of different colors of primer, including green, which is another nifty color. <gasps> Thank you so much, Kazaya. My love. You guys are on fire today. Thank you so much. All right, so I'm gonna take, I'm gonna load my brush up. Actually, I'm gonna put more paint in my brush than that. And then I'm gonna wipe off a bunch so that I can, you can't even see a little bit. And then I can sort of zenithal dry brush this in a sense. I, I, I did not know if this is gonna work, so we'll see. It may not. See, there's too much paint. It's getting streaky on me. There, that's better. So I guess I would say, if I had to do this over again, maybe, I don't know, it's working. You just have to layer it, I think. Do a little layer and then, yeah, that actually is doing what I want it to do. See, the, the important part is that you want to be able to see Hey, Ghost Wolf. Primer experiment time. Yeah, that's basically what I'm doing here. I'm primer experiment. I'm, um, I'm brushing down as if I were the light shining down so that I don't lose any of my shadows. There we go. So it's getting there. So it's actually better if you're kind of using different directions. As long as you save your, you respect the shadows, you just keep the shadows in there. You don't want to lose the shadows. Notice that I'm not doing a ton on this side because this side's going to be a little bit darker because there's less, less light. Okay. Is Scale 75? They are going to send me some. I'm supposed to send them a list of other supplies I need to so they can send it all in one go and I have been swamped. So, um, yeah, they are supposed to send me some of those colors and I will definitely be showing you guys them once I get them. I'm so excited. I also got, I've got a set of the, um, the Creature Caster um, Monument paints. I have not had a chance to really work with them and that's another thing that I wanted to be able to talk to you guys about. Um, I can't do that until I've worked with them now, so. All right, that's good enough, right? It's close enough to the actual model. Notice it, now it's a lot, we can let it dry too, because I think that's the other thing I need to have it happen. Try one more. 
let's try, no, this is gonna work. Yeah. It does obviously go on better with the airbrush, but I'm just trying to show you guys that if you don't have an airbrush, I mean, it's a lot more time consuming, but if you don't have an airbrush or you're completely like strapped for time and don't want a time to drag it out or everything like that, you can do this. You can, you can get this um, dry brush priming. And it works, I would say it works best on, on things like this that are like nurgly because ultimately it's a fantasy creature skin type and it's gonna be really gnarly and, and gross to begin with. Okay, that's done. All right, so that priming is done. Be the airbrush, you are the directional spray, exactly. <laughs> oh, all right, so my desk won't be so clean today. That's okay. All right, what's next? Let's look at this guy. Tell me what you guys want me to want to see demonstrated. We've got the base, we've got the guts, we've got this like gross pox, we've got kind of this decaying flesh over here, we've got the booty, so many things to paint. We've got the wings, you love the back skin tone, you know, and that's just primer. I don't, I, this is actually not quite even done. So, yeah, we've got a lot more to do. You like the, you like the back skin? All right. <laughs> Might be useful for zombies and dragons, exactly. All right, so let's, let's do that. So, so here's some colors that I used in addition to what I've already got it primed with, okay? I've got scale 75 colors. This is Ladanus Gray. It's sort of like a pur purpley, light purpley blue color. I have a little bit of the Camouflage Green by Game Color. Like I used so many paints in this, okay? I wanna point that out. I used a lot of paints and a lot of washes. I also used a lot of P3 Moldy Ochre. And I use these because they're satin. I wanted the satin quality because that's what makes them look more skin-like. Menoth White Highlight. We're gonna be using those. And then I've got Arbuckle's Brown, which is also satin, and then a little bit of Harvester Flesh, and then a little bit of Moonray Flesh. So that's, this is sort of my undead, you know, start, starter kit here. You can do the wing. Let's do the back first. I'll show you what I was doing. Actually, you know what, since I already have, I don't know if you want to look at this or not, but um, <laughs> since we already have this guy started, I'll show you how I began this and we can actually just finish this. And I'll, if you want to see anything in particular, like how did you do that boil, Shosh? Then I can show you on the other one. Okay, so I've been using a dry palette this whole time, a dry well palette, which is not showing up on camera. It's really really dark and I'm going to put in my palette in the different in, for, in the different wells I'm going to put a little bit of the Ladanus gray put that dried paint off there there we go and a little bit of harvester flesh <laughs> you guys are funny I'm gonna put a little bit more of that in there. Yellow, my moldy ochre. This is such an important part of this model. I use so much of this moldy ochre. Okay. Uh-oh, of course the of course it stopped up. There we go. Got it out. And let's see what else I've been using. The funny part about and the, oh it looks like I also used um, 
so much stuff going on. It's really kind of funny. This sort of green color is actually just the primer on top of the black, the yellow primer on top of the black. Let's go ahead and put some, I don't want everything to dry out, so let's just do that for now. We've got the three colors, basically pastel, purple, pastel, orange, which is what peach is, pastel, um, pastel yellow. And let's see, I think I've been using this brush is a scale 75 brush. Coder Maker for subscribing. Thank you so much. Turtles all the way down. I don't know what that means. But thank you for subscribing. 16 months. Lovely, lovely husband, Mike. All right, I'm going to put my hand over his booty so you don't have to look at that. All right. We've just got the regular primer here. And we're thinking in terms of temperatures. I want highlights to be warm. And I want shadows to be cool. Right? So when I'm thinking about temperatures, I'm going to go in and highlight. And I'm honestly, I'm not trying to. There's a little yellow. See, that yellow is super yellow. So it, it warms things up very quick. Then I put a little purple down here. And the purple will cancel out the yellow and make kind of a pallid, gross gray which is fine, I don't mind having that. And then I do want some of this green, camouflage green. Pretty sure that's gonna be good, yep. Yes, hi for him, thank you so much. It's a complexion to die for, ah, that's so bad. So, I'm not, there we go, green. Green is sort of like the, the bridge. Think of green as the bridge between the different colors, right? And I think I had a little blue too, just a little bit of bearing blue. It's um, a flat color, but it's just the right color of blue. I'm gonna show you what happens. So the other thing to make this grossness Cell is um, you want it to look a little bit human. You don't want it to look too otherworldly because the grossness is that it's like your brain thinks that it might be kind of human. And so having this peachy color kind of modeled on top. Notice I'm wet blending. I'm just straight up wet blending. Modeled on top of the uh, different gross colors it makes it feel more alive and it makes it also feel real so here's some blue like I said I'm thinking about where the shadows are what's what's in there let's put the wing in Is that where's the arm here's kind of see Okay, so this, this whole back, you need to have sort of fleshy. That, so this piece of flesh kind of covering up the spine here, I want it to look like this piece right here, kind of like necrotic, right? Enthralled by entrails, exactly. Hi, Casual Painter, this is our gross, gross creature from Creature Caster. All right, so first I'm just gonna give it sort of a base coat of the, which one is it? Harvester Flesh. It's a nice pale and pallid color. We want that to look like skin. how I have it. I sort of did it like a downward dry brush here. There's going to be some little warty things on there. 
this is like no other stream we've done, is it? It's almost, it's not as bad as the Gorm, right? The Gorm was pretty gnarly. Let me take this wing off. Put that in my box. I think we just painted out, painted our bedroom the same old lady peach color. <laughs> That's funny. Yeah, I guess that would be like an old lady peach mauve color. It's perfect. I'm just digging this out because I can't look at it. It bugs me. It bugs me. Okay. Got it out. Enough of it out anyway. All right, there's lots of scumbling. I want to tell you what the word scumble. So here, I'm going to use an old brush to show you scumbling. Scumbling is like scribbling. Here, let me use a bright, brighter color. Here's yellow. Yellow, you'll be able to see. Scribbling and this is scumbling. Okay? We're going to be scumbling a lot with the brush. It, you, you don't want to use your best brushes with this kind of thing. You need to find a pick of my gorm. Just just go on YouTube and search search for the video because there's a go show she's minis gorm and it'll pop right up. There we go. And I'm just gonna paint over the rest of this because I think it looks like I missed some of it. I'm just getting everything in here. And now look, there's some shadowy bits. I'm going to put some of my purple in there and some of my blue. My blue is drying fast today. Then, kind of, again, scumble it together with the base color. Wet blended. That looks like, it looks like a spine, right? And now I think I need a little bit of this Moonray flesh. Because I don't know if you guys see, but the front of him is very pale. Finagling, yes. I'm going to use a little bit of this and a little bit of my um, Menoff White highlight. Just a little bit together. They have a very similar, and then see how I watch. Watch how I use the side of my brush. Yeah. And I come down over that spine. Yeah, that pops out. And it also looks more like undead like. Then I can go back with that peach again. And anywhere that it doesn't look smooth, I can kind of smooth it out with a peach. That looks good to me. Okay, now this is where we get into the interesting part. So for what I've been doing for the little boils is I've been taking the yellow, I'm gonna take glasses off. So if you have a question for me, do add show she's minis so that you can get your question answered on all of the little bumps that look like they could be a boil. I'm going to paint a yellow, completely yellow. Okay. There's a bunch on the inside of the spine too.
Hello. Oh my gosh. Thank you for the subscription. Storm Phoenix. Joe, she has a lot of guts today. Yes, I do. Five months in a row. Thank you so much for your support. As you guys know, like all of the stream subscriptions and stuff, they go back into the stream to do giveaways and pay for postage for the giveaways and all kinds of stuff like that. So it really means a lot. We were gonna be upgrading our equipment at some point. All right, so those are the little bumps. Then, this is the magic part here. There's a couple different ingredients. Let's see, do I have it? Oh, come on. Oh, here it is. So I got Secret Weapon Just Red. This is what I use. Oh, thank you so much. Trillion. Feels like just a few weeks. Oh, for nine months. Thank you so much. Let's give some hype to our subscribers. I really appreciate it. So these washes, I'm, I'm going to do quite a lot of washes and stuff um, over the different parts to make them look that much more gnarly. And I just realized something. We want to paint the spine before, and I forgive me, but I have to, I have to look up uh, spine surgery now just so I can find what this would look like. Mm, not looking forward to this. <sighs> Image search. Yikes. Okay, okay. I'm looking so you don't have to. Don't look. <laughs> Thank you for the cheer, Trillian. I needed that. <laughs> oh, okay. I'm um, not going to look at that anymore. Did you see my face? <laughs> That looks like a surgery fail. Yeah, this is a surgery fail. So um, here's what I'm gonna do. We need to paint, like, I need to look at the bones one more time. Ugh, blah, blah, blah. Okay, the bones are not, they're not white. They're actually kind of pinkish. And that's because he's undead. So we're gonna make him, we're gonna make him have resurrection flesh colored bones. Okay, and then we'll, we'll highlight some stuff too. All right, that's a good color. I like this color. Ah, so gross. Thank you for the distraction. All right, so we're gonna get in here, paint the, paint the business. Trust me though, it will be, it will be very, very gross. So gross. Okay, I'm gonna use pink flesh as a base because it's flat, it's gonna, Adhere, I don't know why, but um, the more satin paints, they just want to streak around on me. So I'm going to use the flat paint first, and then we can put the other paint on top. It's about the same color anyway. Yeah, that, that's going on much better. There's a little bit of an op op opaqueness to flat paint. It gives you better coverage. Notice that I'm leaving some of the shadows that green color. That's okay. We're gonna go in there with some washes. Ash Kathleen, thank you so much. Five months, Be pretty sure this is a true resub. Aw, thank you. I really appreciate that. Yeah, Twitch warned us that um, they were gonna be sending out the resub messages to everybody. And so you'll see a lot more. I can't remember what the reason was, but I don't mind. I'm happy to have the, the resubs. Okay. Get in there. The ribs is, ribs, ew. <laughs> it doesn't look like much now, but wait till we get all of the, there's some, oh. It, you know you're doing a good job when you're grossing yourself out while you're painting. I need a glove. I'm, I have a glove here so that when I, I'm not gonna take the paint off with my finger oils. There we go. All right, now I can hold it. Much better. Plus I don't feel like I'm touching it, like grossness, you know?
um, Atrophy360 says, what about doing a grayish bone? It won't compete with the reds and yellows around it. That way you'll see. You'll see what I'm gonna do. I've got a plan. It won't, it won't compete because we're gonna do stuff to it. We're gonna desaturate it and do stuff. So, but first we have to lay in the underpainting first. See, I'm leaving the shadows still kind of dark. Now I already put some of the reds in here preemptively, which I, it's fine. I'm gonna end up putting them back because I'm probably gonna end up painting over them a little bit. Okay. All right, now I'm gonna go back to my harvester flesh because I need that shininess. See how that is? Oh, Heat Flick was talking about the resub issue. What did he say about it? This is really useful right now. You're painting monsters from Shadows of Brimstone. Ah, oh, good, this is perfect, yes. Lots of Goren slime. All right, now, this is where I'm gonna use Intensity Ink Wood to get in some of my dark shadows. And there, there's, the reason why I'm using the wood and not the other ink, because the chestnut is more red. This one's more yellow. It actually is grosser when you put it inside the shadows and we're going to put that down in there. Put that down in there so that's all bringing, bringing that primer because there's a little bit of primer still there into a more colored bit more water because this intensity stuff is intense. You don't need a lot of it. He wasn't happy as it might mess up the length of the true length of subscriptions. Hmm, I don't know. Um I don't know, yeah, maybe it would. Okay. Now this is so I've got that covered and then I'm gonna take my little brush here and kind of pick some of that up. Okay. See how that yellowed it? A lot, it yellowed it a lot. Okay, then that needs to dry. <sighs> Let's see. Get my brush clean. Hello, Christoph. Christoph Painting, how are you? We're painting gross stuff today, be fair warned. Now I'm using a little bit of my Menoth White that's got mixed with the Moonray Flesh a little bit. Yeah, it is very yellow, but watch, we're gonna we're gonna do a little bit of dry brush brush. Now see it's still too wet. I'm gonna dry this with the hair dryer. Give me one second.
There we go, is that better? Yay. Okay, so what I was gonna say was, there's still ink in the crevices that's not dry, so it's not letting me use the big brush. Aw, uh, thank you so much, Teveson. I appreciate you guys telling me when my mic is on or off. Helpful. Okay, so I'm gonna use a smaller brush and pick up some of these highlights here. I would have liked to use the bigger brush, but it wasn't letting me was digging in too much to the... There we go. There was like little pools of ink in between stuff, so I don't want that. The overbrush now. You guys can't, there we go. You missed it. This is what I was doing right here. I'm so sorry. Like first my mic, then my cam. <laughs> Thank you. This is what happens when I get really deep into my painting. I'm not noticing on my tech parts. Okay, glasses are off again. Give me one second to get the little details of these bones. Dim bones, dim bones, dim dry, dry bones. And again, I'm scumbling. So okay if I have brush marks a little bit because that that bone can be um, weathered essentially. It's been out, it's been exposed. Let's try to get this up a little bit more, a little bit more higher highlights here. See how I got the edge of this piece of flesh, flesh right there? That looks perfect. Highlighting the edge of that to create my depth. All right, see how fast this can get? Okay, again, we're gonna do um, a little bit of, what would I wanna use? So I've got a couple different things that I've been using for my red. I think I wanna use a little bit of Not the yellow, we'll use this. This is just red. And this is by Secret Weapon, it's a wash. And it looks, it's interesting, because when you look at it, I don't know if it's gonna show up real well on camera, but it's kind of, doesn't look really strong pigmented. But when I put it in places, and now we're making that Ah, uh, thank you so much for the follow. Ranzi platypus, is that what that said? Ranzi platypus. <laughs> you finished the Dragon King Super Saiyan? It only seemed like what took forever. Yes, I understand that completely. Okay, especially down in those cracks because there's like tissue or who knows what back there. Right? that. Looks gross, huh? And notice I've got a couple little dribs. Oh, I remembered the other color that I needed. Metverse 28, thank you so much for the follow. I'm looking for the other color that is not in front of me. One second, it's a very important color too, so I need to find it. It's a technical paint by Game Color called Dried Blood. And I've been using, here it is, look at this. This is the other color that I've been using. 
I'm going to put this on the palette. And some, both of these don't look like that on the model. Look at how it all. <laughs> so let's go ahead and put some of this closer to the edges. There we go. And I like to have some of these little holes drip. Perfect. That looks like nasty, doesn't it? And the reason why I did not want to do the, the bones gray is because I'm making the flesh, the flesh is going to be the, um, the, the, the desaturated part, the dead flesh. Okay. There's some more of this purple over here. What was the name of the red I just used? It's called Dried Blood. It's awesome. It's really good for Kingdom Death models. And if you look, this is what dried blood looks like when it's dry. It still holds that. In fact, I used a lot of dried blood around the boils. So let's do let's do a boil right here. I'm going to put the um, first. I'm going to put the just red over the whole thing. Right. Then I'm going to wipe off part of the center. Let's put a little dried blood on there as well. Now the, you want you don't want these like rings. You want to have that blended in. There, that's good. Now I can wet blend in a yellow again. Spear, thank you so much. 12 months in a row. You're so awesome. And then a little white in the center. Mr. Snowy Act, the Island Painter. Let's give some hype, both to both, both those people. Um, hello, starting to look good. J most important of all, go Broncos. Yay. That's awesome. So yeah, so you kind of want this uh, orangey, oh my goodness, Glenner. Thank you, that's a brand new subscribe. Wow, I really, really, really appreciate that. Thank you. I'm gonna put some of the red here on the edges of this flesh. There we go. Then you go back and highlight the mist. Did I get any paint on there? Woo! Sub hive train, yes. Like like neon light. Oh my gosh. Three months in a row. That's so wonderful. Massive hype, guys. Thank you so much. You guys are great. All right, I'm gonna just get the edges of this. Help that show up just a little bit better. See how that that looks. So we did. We started some of the little boils. Yes, it is gross. Did you see the front? It's even more gross in front. I'm trying to show guys, show people how to how to get this nurgleness. <laughs> All right, glasses off again. I'm going in to paint the little warty bits. Warty bits. which there's a lot of.
So many little grossness pieces. That's what I call them. Yuck. Trying to get most of these as smooth as I can. It doesn't matter a whole lot because you can cover them up with, um, there we go. See, look at that. Crazy. See, notice the greens. The greens, the green and grays are what are making that, you know, that contrast, that depth. And I think I need a little bit more ink back in here. Oh, you know what? Purple ink. This is gonna look so gross. Hold on. Purple ink right here, Intensity Violet. Watch this. Just a little bit of purple. Ew, I know, right? Okay, watch. This is gonna give it really, uh, it's gonna really pop though. For those really really deep crevices. Put it in really there we go. See how that looks? That that's making things have even more depth. Ah. Oh. It also, the purple almost reads as a black, which is perfect, because then it feels even more necrotic. Don't look up necrotic skin if you don't have to. That's nasty. It gets black. Look at that. See? that and if you want to like make this look even more cracked just extend extend little crack lines here gnarly yuck just that little bit of time we did that Sickwis, thank you so much for following. Gets black with a really dark green tinge in some cases. Yeah, yeah, oh, yeah, oh. I know what you mean, Ghost of Wolf. You <laughs> oh, you're an EMT. <laughs> okay, I did have some turquoise ink also, but I'm not gonna put that in just yet because I wanna see. I think it looks good enough. Looks realistic enough. now. I will go ahead and do some of these boils because I don't like how they look where they're just, I like them to look like, I looked them up. Boils are just really inflamed skin. Almost orangey. Little wet blending in here, there we go. I'm just gonna put this, it's called Just Red, right over the top. And I'm going to blend it out a little bit so that all of that skin around it has sort of a red tinge to it.
But boy, we sure painted the back quick, pretty quick. We didn't really do that much, did we? You know, if we want to add some fun colors, we got a little purple. I can, I can. Wait, there we go. Some of my paints are drying out prematurely. I'm going to add a little water to that. good. Like that's pretty yellow back there so I might want to, I might want to, um, to look really, really pallid. Just add some more highlights of your pale, um, what did I have, Minoth White mixed with the Moon Ray Flash. I feel like that extra bit of like chalkiness helps it even more. Wow. See, the thing about, I don't have my glasses on. <laughs> you've been watching for just five minutes and you've learned a lot already. Thank you so much. I like to teach a lot and I like uh, the class to feel free that they can give suggestions and, and ask questions whenever they want because uh, we all learn from each other. I, some people, oh, you know what? I just realized this whole boil right here, this is like a little boil on top of a boil. Look at that, that's growth. Um, one of the things I learned from you guys just as much. This is very painterly. It's almost like painting on a canvas. Nothing's like super smooth. This is why skin is not one color anyway, right? There's lots of layers. And so there's lots of underpainting and layering things up. See, so, you now I'm, I'm adding a little bit of flesh to that white. It makes it, you know, shine through. There we go. Okay, so now. A little bit of white on each one of these dots I want to accentuate. Not white, but Minoth white, which is actually an ivory. And I'm not doing every one of these exactly the same. Some are different amounts of ripeness growth. <laughs> bit of white in the center. But you can see like these techniques are not not too difficult and you can get some really fun effects. So this all this bit up here is using a lot of um, like orange inks and things we can do we can do some more of that too. Let's see let's do this Ooh, that's bleh. so this this is the this is the um, not the chestnut ink but the other ink um, what's it called and put a little purple in that little crater there's some there's some craters up here those have exploded 
Notice there's like a little ridge here. I'm gonna, there's another little ridge over here. Ooh, that's too dark. Spread that around. There we go. All right, that looks mostly done. Mostly. There's some things. Okay, so I left this little spot over here to show you that I used some of this uh, blazing ink. I used a lot, a lot of inks and washes with this kind of creature. Hold on, glasses, glasses, glasses. Haha, -ha, you giggled out loud when I said my gross made you laugh. <laughs> so gross. <laughs> it does, it makes my skin crawl too. It's, it's pretty nasty. Well, that's when I know I'm doing the right thing is when I'm skeeving people out, right? All right. Um, there was one thing. Oh, these little, this is what I needed. Okay, so over here I've got the blazing ink. Blazing ink is orange. We can put that over the top of that. See how that looks? It is orange. Okay. Let that dry a little bit. You can put I'm not sure why, but sometimes I have a little bit of this red mixed with the orange because I feel like I looked at I looked at the inflamed skins and diseased skin, and a lot of times it gets it gets orangey. I'm not sure. There we go. That's that needs the blood red. Got a little too orangey. There we go. Boom. We can tame that down with a little bit of green if it gets too crazy. Yeah, that did get a little crazy. You can, you can control your temperatures and it doesn't matter if, uh, you know, I think that's about done. We gotta finish this part, this part right here and maybe a little bit up here. That's dry. Chariz Michael, thank you so much. Does it look amazing? The color, okay, so this, we talked about this. What colors go into the boils? Give me one second. We'll do, an, we'll do another one, okay? We're gonna do these, these little, whatever those are, pieces of fat, I don't know. Um, so now I'm gonna layer up with the, with the Menoth White. to touch my own mini. And I'm just stippling it on. It's not not trying to get it smooth or anything. Okay. That's so yucky. All right, there. Now, we're gonna go in with the just red. Oh, did I, I think I used actually the burgundy. Hold on, let me find the burgundy. It's a, this one right here, it's um, Arbuckle's Brown from scale 75. And I'm just gonna, when you, um, when you water this down, it gets, it's pretty, it's a pretty burgundy. All right, I'm putting my glasses back on, sorry for, 
stepped away a bit and see you went full gore effect on the spine. Yes. See what we mean? It's, 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 for, everything is full gore. Like this model was meant to be gross. All right, so this is the burgundy and I'm going into the darkest crevices with this. There's some orange still in there, which is totally fine. There we go. Oy. And then I think the last thing I want to do is a little bit more orange and then did you see what I did how I did a little glaze and then I kind of tapped on it and then a little bit of this red here this is the just red oh yeah there we go that's the color I was going for that's what I was trying to get that orange and the red mixed together. Tap it. And then the desaturated yellow. This is the pastel yellow now. And the white, like back with the white. Trying to achieve different things here. There we go. There's the or bright orange. Hmm, I feel like, hmm. So yellow, what's the opposite of yellow? It's purple. So let's see what happens. I'm gonna put a little purple ink. Ooh, yeah, that's good. In there. And then a little bit more of the red again. And I'm going to feather this out so it doesn't look like it's going to have little sharp lines. Yeah. Oh my goodness. He's almost done. See a little bit more we can do over here. So you were asking me how I did the boils. Let's let's do one of these boils on the front here. So as you can see, we've got a yellow yellow center. We're going to paint that with the moldy ochre from P3. Okay. P3 moldy ochre. Painting the whole thing. Then, we're using some, this is the colors. Where's the other colors? Oh, blood red, or sorry, dried blood from Game Effects. This is a technical paint from Game Color from Vallejo. And that's going all around the edge to give that inflamed. And actually, you can paint it over the center as well. Just make sure you don't lose your yellow. I see how I tapped it to keep it. As that's drying, I'm gonna go in with my, a little bit of my Menoth white and a little bit of my yellow together. To wet blend it in the center. Creating a volume. Notice that I'm like kind of tapping it. 
blend. Yeah. And then more white as we go up higher. You could stop right there. Or you can go in here with this Just Red by Secret Weapon and just around the edge of that. This is the Just Red. That really looks inflamed. Now, see that? He's so gross. What should we name him? Let's name him. That, was, that, that piece is about done. All right, let me look at chat. They're called lipoma, benign tumors of fat. <laughs> Here's my face. Too gross to watch while having brekkie. I'm sorry, Rock Jedi. <laughs> it is gross. Don't eat, don't eat while you're watching this stream. Uh. <laughs> All right, I already painted the axe. Um, I think I might give it some rust and stuff, but not just yet. Let's see. So here I've used just the primer and a little bit of the uh, burgundy, the Arbuckles Brown. Sparkles, Snuggle Guts, Flick Starg. No, we're not naming my Nurgle after Flick. <laughs> I think she, I have a dark side we don't know about. Maybe, maybe, I don't know. It's not, my, my dark side's not very dark. Let's paint this like a carapace kind of color. Ah, cat hair. Lord, where's my guts? All right, so. Um, I think first, I'm trying to think. I don't have all my paints that I usually do this for. But I definitely want that to be like a leathery carapace looking. Let me see if I have any here in my travel kit. Because I think I do. I want P3 because it blends so nice. Yes. Gun corpse brown, we need. Ooh, this is a great, great ink, smoky ink. I didn't even know where that was. We got two bottles of it, it's so awesome. Mm. Trying to find my brown. Okay, this is bloodstone, that'll work. Let's try it. <laughs> it makes you hungry for jam. Oh my God, that's so funny. This is a very orangey color. I'm not sure this is gonna work or not. You know what, in fact, let's mix this with my yellow. Ooh, that is drying very quickly, hmm. Yeah, I need to add this color to my yellow. Sat Oberon, thank you for the follow, welcome. There we go, that's perfect. Never been able to do that, take it out of the pot like that. There we go, that's an interesting color, it's nice tan. Okay, so it's like a tannish color. And we're gonna put that on, oh yeah. Everywhere where we want this like carapace and it's, I'm gonna take glasses off again so I can see. And again, paint the edges. Ah. Thank you so much. There's Sat Oberon, isn't it? Yes, thank you so much. Strawberry yogurt. 
You guys, stop eating. You're funny. <laughs> so the rusty color will probably look good against the green. But you're gonna see what I'm gonna do. Because I want it to look like kind of a beetle carapace when I'm done. It's so funny, you guys. Like, I'm gonna, I'm gonna paint a nurgle, and everybody's like, I'm gonna eat some breakfast. Uh, <laughs> the Rask, thank you for the follow. Welcome. It's been awesome having so many people come follow today. Paint the grossness. I don't usually paint this kind of thing, so hopefully you'll still like me when when I come back painting something else. <laughs> All right, let that dry. Let's go ahead and work on the different nuances of this skin. I'm going to use my purpley color and go in to the shadows that are already there. Give it a little glaze. See how the purple goes so cool with the yellow? There's a piece of open, open sore. And now we got the flesh colors, so I can highlight. Highlight like knuckles, boils, that kind of stuff. Remember, if it gets too far away from having that kind of human quality, it won't be it won't be gross anymore. If it just looks completely alien, your brain won't read it as gross as much. It'll just be kind of cartoon. And the putting the flesh color back in here is what brings it back to gross. There is not, there's lots of nice yellows and stuff still here. Okay. Let's put the, this is the, the um, what you call the uh, dried blood by Leo. I'm gonna let that dry because all the skin around that is gonna be damaged and inflamed. So. I just found a big, giant gap mold line thing. I'm gonna try to cut that. Let me put my glasses back on for cutting. Don't wanna cut myself. Hi, Cajun Mage. If you, if you paint it, we will watch. While eating breakfast. <laughs> okay. All right. Almost. We're going to fill that with a little Bondic. Because the, the paint goes right over the Bondic. Nice. Bondic is live. Somewhere. It's probably on my desk. Maybe. Maybe not. I have the light. There it is. It's, all it's always right in front of me. Unless it's a 40K or Gundam, then it's negotiable. <laughs> Oops, cat hair's in there. There we go. Let's move that out. And then use the light. Yeah, no, uh, sat, sat over on. We are happy to have followers, and please feel free to ask questions about the process or about painting falcon punch drunk thank you so much for 11 months of subscribing let's give some hype falcon punch drunk <laughs> okay so that should be cured and i always test it and make sure 
Now we can go back over it with a little bit of the paint. See, it just hides it. Good, I'm happy. All right, the well, one other thing I need to use is, so I was using quite a bit of this Arbuckle's Brown on my arms, and that's because there's quite a bit of shadows. So there's enough red in here. See how I glaze that over the back? I have to take glasses off again. I put it down and then I feather it, feather it out. And then I can kind of do these little glazes in the shadowed parts. Put a little down in the middle, rinse my brush, feather it, see? And it mixes with that blues and purples that are already there. And now hopefully it's supposed to look like just layers of obese, flabby skin right here that is necrotic. You have to keep putting the flesh color back. There we go. All right. A little bit of purple ink in here so that there is a... Ooh, I really like that. See how I edged that whole piece of skin on the edge there? I'm gonna keep that nice and purple. That. And he was talking about there's some green. Let me see what happens. I'm gonna add a little bit of green to that. Gross, gross, gross. Gangrenous. I haven't looked at gangrene yet. I don't want to look at gangrene. I, for any of the EMTs in my chat here who have seen it, don't, don't tell us, please. Oh, oh, oh. That looks good. Now, this is the important part that we're missing. We need more yellow. Because there's little, little bumps in there that are like little fat. I'll just leave those. Right, now for the, the warty bits. And like I said, I've been just putting yellow straight on them. I like this. This is like a wart with a wart on it. Lip, lipoma. Lipoma. Maybe. Gross, gross, gross. Oh no, I see where some primer came off on his wrist here. Give me a second to fix that. That is the nice thing is if you've got some chipped paint primer or chipped paint or brush stroke gone wrong, it doesn't matter because this thing is so hideous. You've had a hard time mentally di mixing different paint systems. You feel like you're painting in Vallejo, you need to only use Vallejo. Okay, Runkin, you know what your homework is, and I want everybody to try this this week. I want you to take three different brands, okay? This is where your mini painting, let me, let me get my serious face, this is my serious face. This is where your mini painting brain is, is, is bumping up against art, okay? There are no rules in art as long as it gets you the result that you want. Write that down, okay? 
So don't think like, if, it, if you're having a hard time wrapping your head around, like I have to only use one brand or whatever, then make yourself try different things, try different, because the combination of the satin P3 and the um, flat scale color can maybe exactly what I want. And then the, the nobody has this just red. I, I've, I've been looking through my Citadel's washes, nothing is like this just red. So I have to go off brand. Gain, same thing, there's certain lines of paint that only have the best of that particular paint and so you have to go off brand. So yeah. Aw, uh, thank you so much Twisted Shadows for the raid, mad love. Let's give uh, Twisted Shadows a shout out and also some hype. Let's go back to our, and thank you, those of you guys who are coming from Twisted Shadows, we're painting a Nurgle, Nurgly goodness here. And notice that the, the one of the important things that I've been doing here um, with, with this guy is using the inks. The inks are shiny and I actually use that to my advantage. We're gonna use some intense, intense chestnut. You mix Citadel and Scale 75, but you've had difficulty with any other inks other than Citadels. Use what works. Infinite Poochie, thank you so much for the follow. I love that name. This is this guy has an infinite poochie too. This. <laughs> All right, so now I'm gonna start on this horn because I want it to be the darkest. This is what I'm gonna. This ink is gonna help me get that carapace look. Okay. Notice I'm back. I'm I'm bringing the ink back up to the top of the horn each time. So it's the smoothest. And then we can let it pull in the crevices down here, but try to bring it up to the top when you can. It wants to bubble a little bit, but that's all right. Cover that whole piece of armor with that brown ink. Hopefully it's not going to bubble too much. See, it does look a little bit carapace-like. We're, we're going to layer it up some more with that main color go. So, pull that ink into that. Oh, wow, Like Neon Light, thank you so much for your subscription. Hype. This has been a, such a great day. All right, that needs to dry, because I want that to be, actually, let me go ahead and zap that with the hair dryer one second while I mute myself. Okay, so these inks are very shiny, which is good because I want that a little bit tacky still. Um, it's good, I want that. Let's use a little bit of black ink. This is gonna be hopefully for the horn. I want it to look, I want it to look like this. Like this guy here. And I might end up changing it because I'm not sure I like that. Um, not sure I like this brown yet. I haven't decided. That's what's great is you really, I mean, with this kind of model, it's very difficult to mess up because you can keep painting over it and no one's gonna notice. There we go, black, 
black. I had a dream last night that I used really black nail polish. Do you guys ever dream about your projects? Sometimes I do. And sometimes they help, it hits like my brains I'm trying to figure out, ooh, I like that a lot. I'm trying to figure out what to do next. I'm gonna get all the little spikies. You definitely, yeah. I dream about my projects all the time. And like I said, I often am able to, pro it's like my brain's problem solving while I'm asleep. All right, now. That has a little bit of purple mixed in it, by the way, that, that ink. It's a little bit of black and a little bit of purple. Now I'm gonna pull it down. Oh, it's a little bit cakey. A little bit of water on it. That looks good. A beetle. Yes, I like that. Especially that horn. I'm really happy with how that came out. Real quick, I'm gonna hit this this guy's horn. Thank you so much for the subscription. Christopher too, thank you. Go Pats, no! <laughs> well, thank you anyway for the subscription. I will forgive you for being a Patriot fan. <laughs> That's so funny. All right, that looks awesome, I love it. I wanna do that a little bit more on his posies down here too. Sorry, I'm off cam. Get back on cam, Shosh. Some of these little bugs need a little, yeah, a little bit. Oh, so gross. Oh, man. That's pretty nasty. All right, let's go back to this. Let's do another layer of this yellowy brown ink, oh yeah. It definitely feels like a bug carapace now. We need something else, but I'm not gonna mess with it because it feels like it needs, needs to dry some. Let's go back to the to the boils. She's being nice. She'll forgive, but not forget. <laughs> it's a very gross-looking boy. He is. I think we'll for, we forgot to sketch. <laughs> All right, here's the yellow again. Some of these boils got a little bit. There we go. All right, and then. Well, let's see, more yellow on those. There's a lot I missed. I forget how boily he is. Boily? Looks good. One more over here. Okay, now. 
<laughs> yes, it is time to stretch. Let's do a little stretch break. All right, about halfway through my show, usually we try, oh, is it? Is it already 4.30 almost? We, it's a late stretch break. So, so we should still stretch. All right, but we should get up. Ah. Ah, no bone cracks this time, but that's okay. We were having a lot of fun. We got a lot done, too. Oh, yeah, look at this. That looks good with his little claws and his. Oh, we can't see. Look at that. That looks awesome. We might dry brush this with a little bit of something. I'm not sure yet. It feels like it needs something. I need to finish these little boils though. Did, I, did you miss showing his face? Yes, do you wanna see his face? There we go. Here, let's see if I can show you, there. He's looking into your soul. Saying, look at my gut. My gut, my lovely gut. <laughs> Don't look at my gut. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna finish painting these boils and then we're gonna look for somebody awesome. Cricket hype, I know, you can hear them? Oh no, rubbish booty. So yes, I have crickets because I keep geckos and the crickets have, the ones I bought the most recently actually do chirp and make a whole bunch of noise. Super irritating. Yes, last time I put them in the fridge and they went dormant for a little bit. And that actually was a, a good idea. If they're only in there a short time, it doesn't hurt them. Cricket hype. <laughs> this is the dried blood from um, From Vallejo. Okay. Now I've got to go smooth all those edges. You want to get those little tea stains. Gotta get rid of those. All right now, you thought the top was his face and he had a big fish mouth. Oh no, he's got like, he's got a little bitty face and he's got this like tube thing that goes back and like chews on his own gut. I don't know what he's doing, but it's like, it's under his armpit kind of. This is gonna be his other arm. I'll be like, I scratch your back, scratch, scratch. Yeah, he's gonna be, he's a nightmare. He's a nightmare in real life. <laughs> Nothing worse than a stale cricket. Yes, that is true. All right, now we've got to add in that yellow back. But notice that I added it smaller. It's smaller now. This is the boil on top of the boil. Did we did we come up with a name yet for this guy? We need like a a funny name, not like not Flickster. <laughs> Thank you so much for the follow. Welcome art lover. Art lover, we are doing some majorly gross stuff. This is definitely pushing the boundaries. Hold on, let's see. I need some Menoth white highlight. It's not coming out. Of course not. 
Ooh, you can hear the cricket. <laughs> All right, two more things to do on this boil and then it will be mostly done. Get a little center. Now I'm gonna just blend that a little bit because those are a little bit sketchy looking. Oh, and now the red Henry Boyle McBoily face. <laughs> Which one I like? <laughs> McBoily face. I like that. <laughs> you always do, Sarah. <laughs> oh my god. You need to come to Adepticon or Reapercon or something. We need to hang out because, oh my gosh, look at how gross that is right there. This is the just red. This is the this is make, what makes the skin look so inflamed. And I love it because even when it dries, it really helps keep that color. <laughs> Nasty. Let's put it on his. Let's put it on him and see how it looks. Yeah, it's pretty gross. It might be almost too distracting. I think it is. It might be a little. We need to tone it down a little bit. So we're going to tone it down with a little purple. It's almost too red. Tone it down, make it look more necrotic. That's better. Maybe a smidge of green in there. Now it's almost more gross, but it's not, I don't know why, it's not as distracting to me. Try that. Yeah, there we go. That's way better. And then we'll add some of this pasty whiteness like this. And this, what I used for that was, where'd it go? This, nope, not this. Um, I wanted it real matte, so I used white sands, which is matte. And the matte is a contrast to all that shiny, goopy stuff. Did I even make it to the other names? I did not. Let me see. Frank, Sir Plumpington, Twinkie, Pot Roast. Oh my God. Now, it's gotta be McBoily Face. I think that's the winner. <laughs> what, what cracks me up the most is I know that you're just like coming up with those things off the cuff that, that didn't take any effort in your part, Sarah. And that's what, that's what cracks me up so much.
<laughs> All that underpainting pays off. And let's see. Yeah, that pastiness looks good to me. If it, if it gets too chalky, we can just go back with the Moonray flesh and just give it a little glaze, just a little bit. See, that takes away the chalk. Another thing you can do is get some gloss medium or gloss gel. What I got, I've got some here. This is Vallejo, but I really like the best stuff, and I don't know where mine is, is the stuff that you can buy from the craft store or from Walmart, and it's called Crystal Clear, and that stuff's awesome. Let's look at that. Yeah, that's much better. I, I definitely think you needed that kind of wideness, and I'll be working on that some more. <laughs> Giggle Fit number two, yes, true. Okay, guys. Thank you so much. This has been really fun. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you weren't too grossed out, or if you were, that you know you had a good time with it. <laughs> now you can you can go think lovely thoughts and eat breakfast without thinking about this. Um, <laughs> let's find somebody to host us. Let's see. All right, now. What we're gonna do is we're gonna type Mad Love from Shoshi's Minis. And you know what? We should, we should host Samson Arts because I have not hosted him in a while and he is amazing. You can tell him all about my Nurgle things. He's got some Nurgle stuff too. I don't, yeah, it looks like he's working on a creature caster as well. So we're gonna host him. He's amazing, he's a good friend of mine. There we go. All right, mad love to you guys. We will be back tomorrow paint, doing the Gundam. So if you, you know, missed if you wanted, you missed the light and fluffy stuff that, you know, you'll be able to have a cleanse palette tomorrow. I'll be painting at 11 to 1, my time, central time, GMT minus 6, tomorrow. And then I'll be back on my normal Wednesday schedule from 7 to 9 p.m. GMT minus 6. Okay, so we will see you guys and let's go raid Sam. Oh, here's the mad love. So if you don't have my, ah, uh, thank you so much. Flickster, you just subscribed. Thank you so much. We're just leaving. We're going to go host Sam. But if you don't have my emotes, then you can go ahead and uh, copy paste this. I always type mad love here. There we go. So copy paste that. If you've got my emotes, let's spam them with emotes. All right. Bye, guys. <laughs>